YouTube video is sponsored by mulliganbrothers.com where you can now buy the Not A Journal, which is ironically called the Not A Journal. It's a journal, guys. It's a success journal. It's linked in the description. Purchasing these help support projects like this in the future. Um, let's jump into the video and hear some amazing wise words from Master Shi Heng Yin. So this is at the moment the group of disciples that are living with me here in the monastery and starting from January we have seven more coming <laughs> and they normally stay like one year some of them extend for two years and then after the two years they have to decide if they want to continue this path and then they stay even longer so some of them are already here the fourth and fifth year yeah and quite strict in those years so what to what to, in, in terms of how you're living because we have quite a lot of rules when you're staying in this monastic way of life but it also has advantages because you have quite uh, some time to dedicate all the trading to yourself and this is bringing quite quite a lot of benefits then if you have this time to only focus on yourself is this the traditional route what these these people are taking? I think it is of course adapted in the in the sense of we are located in Europe so there are some things we cannot make like in Asia but elsewise from the core we still try to stay as um, as authentic as possible so that means the ancient teachings we try not to change it in any way but to translate it also into a language where people here in Europe also understand it so that's also quite impo um, important yeah. Are you preparing the food already in the kitchen? Yes. Hey, but you know, poke bowl must be inside a bowl. True. Huh? Yes. Yeah, yes. you know, and and we don't have enough bowls. No, no, no. That's why I have to make it on plate. No, it's too small. No, no. Okay. This would be best. No. No good. But you know, uh, you ever ate already in before? Pokeball? Yes. Yes. No, okay, that's good. A friend of mine, she has a restaurant of Pokeball. <laughs> good about this. Good. You started the tahin sauce already? He's using it. Good. Good. Yeah, and sometimes. Uh, for example, still uh, one and a half weeks ago, we, our kitchen here has to cook them for 40 people sometimes. And the thing is, we are not professional cooks. Yeah, It's ourselves who are normally preparing it or the volunteers that are helping us. So meanwhile, we really had volunteers almost from all over the world. It's, in a way, it's their, their chance to, to follow up on all the teachings that we have here. And at the same time, 
the motivation is different. Uh, so I, I think everybody finds his reason why he wants to come. Some people come really for this personal retreat. They just come. Normally the working hours are like five, six hours per day. And the rest of the time you have for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really good that our monastery is really run by a big community actually. So without all this work would be impossible to make it. Yeah, and nobody gets paid here. That's also something <laughs> yeah, worth mentioning maybe. Nineteen, at least eighteen, nineteen. Okay. It's saying heaters are running or not? Oh, yes. Yeah, even so that they are brothers, but uh, in the past they had some serious fighting. <laughs> That's why they're like normally separated. volunteers now they're here already since one month two months some of them even half a year already and at least my feeling is telling me that the reason why they are supporting this complete monastery and are supporting this type of approach is because they for themselves have the feeling that they can contribute to something that has purpose because it just makes sense because there is that sentence like to to help other people to contribute to something not for yourself this is something that can give you uh, that gives you something only this type of work only like community work can give you it's different because when you are doing something for somebody else without expecting something for you. You give something without looking at yourself actually. Yeah. And this is why the universe sometimes gives you presence as well even if you didn't ask for it. It's because of this. But if you only go out and everything you do because you want something, the universe knows. He knows you take care of your own business, you don't need presence. So this is maybe why I would really say that it's a different feeling to sometimes use your lifetime and invest it to benefit somebody else. Another person, another animal is the same. I think this is why it gives a really good a nice feeling and gives purpose to people when they know they can contribute in saving the lives of other beings. Not as not humans, but maybe animals. Yeah. So yes, because what you can get in return. Yeah, it's it's, it's hard to describe what it is. So, and maybe, maybe this is one of the reasons why the volunteers are here, yeah? But nevertheless, also it means that there's a lot of exchange normally also happening between our community here. So we know where they are coming from. We know what they are, um, what they are busy with sometimes. And yeah, this is the way how 
even this monastery will try to connect and try to stay up to date, let's say, on what's going on in the individual mind out there. Yeah, so it's not that we don't know what's happening. It's important that these worlds are merging. And one way is because of having such helpers of such a community. Only because of them, it's also possible that other people, like the monks and the masters inside this temple, they can concentrate on their expertise. So at the end, everybody has his own individual place and space where he can at least find the possibility to start his self-expression. And in the moment that one person inside this community starts to grow, normally it's good to pull everybody together. One grows, everybody grows. You can choose between holding the pet or guarding it. If you guard it, it's close. Close. From a thousand students that come, ultimately maybe one or two from a thousand are ultimately really staying in these type of practices. Because the big problem is always like this. You always have people that have the willpower, so they want. They, w they really want it. But then they don't have the character. Then you have people which have really that type of character, that spirit of character that we were, let's say, looking for. The problem is, but he doesn't want to have this type of life. So to find a person who has the characteristics, so his character, let's say, is suitable, merged together with the willpower that he also wants this way of life. This is something very, very rare. It's very rare that something like this is happening. Many people want to achieve something great, yes, but they don't have the character to do it. Their character is going to stand on the way, on, on, on their own way. They have the willpower, but they don't have the character. Other people have the character, but they don't want. If you find someone who is able to inherit both sides, this is something very special. And this is then where I think the manifestation takes place. All the disciples, all the students that I have here, why I want them to also learn about the martial arts. Because this is what it's about. You want to develop your body in such a way that you feel strong, that you feel vital. But not just that you feel like this, it's also important that you really are strong and vital in comparison to yourself if you would not do the training. That's important. So all this martial art training, it is about, in ancient times, it was about preparing and forging your body in such a way that you become a weapon or that your, your limbs, your body becomes suitable to use it as a weapon. It doesn't mean you have to do it. It just means you need to forge it like this, first of all. This is why still nowadays, a thousand five hundred years, even uh, after the original founding, 
of the tradition in China, we are still keeping up exactly these training methods. Because to express physical strength absolutely has an impact upon how strong your mind is. It's not the only one, but it certainly is like related. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to support Master Shi Heng Yi, please go to Shaolin.online where you can see his new courses. Um, you can get more resources for him. And I believe you can find out how you can actually visit the temple. Um, today's video was sponsored by the new Not A Journal on MulliganBrothers.com and the Inspire Change t-shirts and the Hardest Worker in the Room t-shirts. But the Not A Journal is something that I have actually worked on for, for a few years. Um, it's, this, it's how I journal. I uh, don't know if that's going to come up on camera, but basically you write the stuff that you want to get done and the notes on the side, super simple. This is how I've always journaled. And one of the biggest problems I found with um, journals and buying journals and success journals is they're just very overcomplicated. So this is just a completely simplified version. It's on the website right now. It helps support these projects and allows us to get stuff like this done. The support has been amazing. It's been my, my, everyone who's been following me on Instagram and DMing me as well, thank you so much. Um, try and hit 10K. We're actually getting quite, well, quite close. We're on 2,700. We will get there. But yeah, uh, this, the journal, um, again, well received. Thank you very much for everybody who's done it. And people did ask, how long would this last me? It'll give you about a year. There's like 300 odd pages in it. So it'll give you about a year or just under a year. And, I have started using mine. I won't show you what it says, but I've started using mine and I've been so excited to get this. So yeah, thank you very much. They're available right now. Um, and yes, I have to plug this. This is how we are able to do this. So thank you. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, like comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at Jordan Mulligan Rubber. Drop me a message, say hello. And yeah, have a blessed and productive day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.